my scrappy, scrappy, scrappy friends. How are we today? I am Nellie Piconic and I am a maker with Close to My Heart. Now, straight off the bat, I'll apologize. There is a kettle boiling in the background. I'm about to start one of my Sunday all day scraps. And if the kettle is not boiled when the girls get here, then I will be in trouble, especially you, Kayleen, you'll be telling me off. So I have to have that kettle on right now. I do apologize for the sound it's making and if it's annoying. Um, as promised, I'm back with the last few layouts that I made with the crisp air workshop, uh, scrapbook kit workshop, and to show you what I have left over. So first thing first, these are the last few layouts that I made. Get them in a nice pile so the backs aren't showing. So this one here, I've used a lot of those little strips and bits and pieces I had left over. Lots of bits there. A um, couple of flags in the corner. Now this could work any way really. So we could have it this way and have a photo mat along there. We could have it down the bottom. And I think what I'll do when I have the right photos for this, it'll, I'll probably add some of those digital leaves like I cut out for layouts one and two um, at, down the bottom here somewhere, maybe across here. So, but I will finish this one off when I have the right photo because that, that will determine what I put on. But a lot of these are little bits of zip strips, just tiny bits of paper, and I've just cut them all down to different lengths. This um, little one here, um, it doesn't go all the way along. It just goes to about there and to there, and so does a lot of these. So they're not actually got the full full um, width all the way along underneath. So ones where I was I was cutting it a little bit short, I've left. I think that was the last layout I made. No, it was the second last one. So this is the last layout I made. I probably should have put them in a better order. So this one could easily have, and again, I will finish this off when I have some photos, or if somebody's looking for something in the workshop, they'll be able to grab this. So you could have some photos go along like this, cut them down just a smidge, or you know, some four by fours with a couple of little bits. I do have some little bits and pieces left over, but not much. So, you know, you could have them, or, you know, for that matter, you could have some different size ones. So you could have, you know, so that can work in any way. And again, it's something that I will um, use or uh, finish off embellishing. A title can go across the top or the bottom, things like that. That can all be finished off later. It's not something that I need to finish now. So, but it does give you an idea of how far you can actually get with a few scraps. So just layering down little bits and pieces. This one, again, not much used. So I've added the back um, base page. There's a couple little um, strips that I've had left, um, a tiny little one at the top. This is one of those stickers that I've made that I do with leftover sticker embellishments. So it's black cardstock underneath. Same down here and the arrows that are in the kit. So they are the exclusive, some of the exclusive paper sheets, um, cut out die cuts in the sheet. So there's the last three. So there was nine videos plus those three in the whole series. Now I do have a playlist of all the ones that were made. So if you have missed them, feel free to pop back and check them out. Now this is what I have left. Now I haven't done a little embellishment thing this time, mainly because life has been so cray cray busy that I just have not got to it. Um, that is just the way it is. So there was these little strips. Now they were in project three it, that comes with the instruction sheet. Um, I was going to use them as little journaling strips at one stage and I think they'd be fantastic as little journaling strips. Um, but I had not used that. Uh, I didn't use, in fact, the square one that went with it, which somehow migrated up to the back of my desk. I'm just rolling over to that. And I didn't use that one either. So I did have those left over. 
I have a few um, bits of these scallops left over. So I definitely could have pushed this one a little bit further if I wanted. Um, this is some of the paper um, that we made with the white daisy ink. Um, you can now stamp a title or something over that and it wouldn't be as bright. So um, we were going to use that, but it just wouldn't dry fast enough for me the other week. Um, so little bits and pieces here and lots of the little leaves pieces that I cut up and changed about. Um, I think I will cut leaves or I will cut some little flowers out of those. Colourful but that doesn't work for us because it doesn't have the U in the colour um, which I realised after I made that. Um, yep, just a few bits and bobs and this is really all I have left of that whole kit. So I think we made a, a fair good dint in it. Um, I ha haven't busted it as much as I did the um, Backyard Bliss, but it is done. Now what's left on the sticker, st sticker sheet? Surprisingly, I have these three little tags left. Now I will put this away with the three layouts that um, haven't got photo mats and things on them. They may end up on that. Um, the little banners, I may make some new, some extra little banners and they may also go on one of those layouts. The Autumn um, Splendor, which we could use my sticker technique to do those. There's a tiny little fall stamp here. We don't call it fall in Australia, so it could migrate onto a layout of somebody falling over maybe. Ooh, that didn't sound very nice, did it? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what we do with that one. There's a little heart there that somehow got missed. Um, and parts of the pumpkin. Now I mentioned a couple of times we don't really do autumn and pumpkin here. Not like um, America and maybe Canada does. Um, so I just cut, <coughs> excuse me guys, um, I just cut the flower bits off the top. And you can really see it there where there was a flower on top of that pumpkin. I cut that out and I used it on the layout. So that is what is left. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I hope you've got lots out of it, that you've been inspired to go away and cut your kit up and make something really amazing. Please feel free to pop over to my Facebook page and um, pop some photos there if you have used something as inspiration or you just want to show off something that you've created. I love seeing everything that you guys make. There's also links down below to the web store where you can pick up a kit if you would like. And that's it. This is Chris Bear all done, guys. So next month or coming very soon, or because these are running so late into the month, um, I'm going to have a few um, special videos that are nearly ready to go and I cannot wait to share them with you. Um, exciting times. So definitely hit the subscribe button and let us know um, so that you don't miss out on what's coming next because September is going to be awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking with me through this whole series. Love you all. Have a good day. Bye.